friends, it's Mr. Alex from Adams Memorial Library, and I'm here with another online origami club video. Remember that you can get your supplies for the online origami club by visiting our curbside door or asking a staff member at the front desk, and we'd be happy to give a packet to any kid or teen that asks for them. Now this week, we're going to be making an origami fox. Let me show you what we'll need. For today's origami fox, we're going to need a couple of things. We're going to need our final piece of origami club paper. And just like before, remember that we only get one try at this. So we wanna make a practice fox first and get really, really good at it before we use this piece of paper. So we're also going to need some practice paper. Uh, you can use anything that you have at home. I happen to pick this scrapbooking paper that I had here and uh, you can use copy paper, you can use notebook paper, origami paper, whatever that you have at home totally works for practicing. We're also going to need a pair of scissors and a marker or a crayon if we want to decorate our origami fox after we're done practicing. So to begin, we're going to set aside our final sheet of paper and we're going to take our practice piece of paper and turn it into a square. We'll make a fold like this, give it a nice sharp crease and take our scissors and cut this extra bit off. The extra bit can go to the side. And just like with a lot of our origami, this is actually the first step. The second step is that we're going to take this corner here and fold it over in the opposite direction that we've already folded our origami, giving it a nice sharp crease. And we wanna make sure that this fold is as precise as possible because if we uh, make it a little sloppy or a little messy, you're gonna be able to see some of the back side of the paper on your fox's face. So we'll have something that looks like this. Now we're going to take these two corners here and fold them to this corner using our center line here as a guideline. So we'll go ahead and do that now. Alrighty, once we have this fold, we're going to take and fold these two corners down like this, and that should leave three flappy bits up top here like that. So we'll go ahead and make that fold. Alrighty, so using our bottom corner here as a guideline, we're going to take this corner and fold it over until it gets to that bottom point. And we want to aim it a little bit up in the air, just like this, to make one of our fox's ears. Now, the trickiest part of this fold is that we are going to make our fox's face by taking the center flap that we have here, and we're going to flatten it like this. But in order to flatten it, we want to take the bottom part and keep it in line with this fold here. So we'll pull that over. And then we'll take this part and flatten it down. So now our fox has a face right here and two ears. Finally, our fox will need a tail. And so we're gonna bend this part here over. And this might be a little tricky depending on how thick your paper is because it is a lot of layers of paper. So we'll fold that over. Once we have this, our fox is complete and it is time to decorate. We can take our marker and give our fox a nose, as well as some eyes. And there we have it. Our origami fox is complete. Make sure you practice this several times and get really, really good at it. And then you can take your final piece of origami club paper and fold the real thing. I'll show you what mine looks like at the end of the video. All right, so now that I've practiced making my origami fox many, many times, I folded this fox and it turned out great. Now, your fox might look a little bit different and that's okay. Everybody's origami is unique to them. Now, keep in mind that you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram for all sorts of updates, not only about Online Origami Club, but also the other programs that we'll be doing this fall. Happy crafting. Thank you.